All right, guys. We're day three in, 28 day free camping challenge, not spending any money on camping for 28 days. So what do you do when it's school holidays? Three weeks out from the start of the school holidays, you go to try and book some low cost camping accommodation and there's nothing left. You do a challenge. We're Shannon Nay. At the end of 2021, we decided it was time for a complete life change. So we sold our house and business. Now we are traveling around Australia, looking for adventure and seeking moments of solitude. So this episode, we're gonna be doing some fire cooking and we're also gonna visit Kennedy Range National Park. Yum, yum, yum. Hopefully it's softened, it's not burnt, and it's about halfway through cooking. Mm. Oh, let's get dinner on, babe. Is it about halfway? Oh yeah, she's soft. Needs a little bit longer. She's looking good. I love me a baked potato. didn't quite time it right. I got mighty, mighty close, but our spuds probably need about another five minutes. So we'll get into dinner and then enjoy our spuds probably when we're about halfway through. Morning guys, Shannon has stoked the fire back up this morning. We have some good coals in the makings. Today I'm gonna try and make some damper. Don't think this is something that I've ever tried. I've made banana bread on the fire before, but never damper. So we're gonna start with a traditional damper. And then I wanna have a couple of little recipe ideas that I wanna play around with and experiment with as well. I've gone with quite small little, I guess, roll size damper for now, because that way I can just experiment and play around with different flavors. So if this one works, then I want to try a tomato based one, try a vegan one. Moment of truth guys. How did we do? We haven't checked it. Ooh. Okay, slightly golden brown. I would say that that might be a little bit under. Mm. Be 
been on for 20 minutes we've rotated it every five minutes it's a little bit under so i'm going to get shannon just to put some more coals just on top and then we might just give it just another 10 minutes it's looking pretty close take two oh, yum. oh she's she's tasty i think we crack it open yeah i'm feeling pretty promising I think that's cooked, isn't it? Yeah, it looks damperish, doesn't it? Maybe slightly under. We can learn, we can improve. Next time, we'll get it even better. It tastes slightly under. It's good. Mm, that's really good. Mm. It's nice and moist. Mmm. Mmm. Cheers. Definitely still, I think, slightly under, but we would have lost a lot of heat when we checked it the first time. So if we don't open it and just leave it for 30 minutes to start with, I think it will cook through a little bit better. And plus this time around, the oven itself will be just that little bit more pre-warmed as well. Well, pre-warmed because first time around it wasn't pre-warmed at all. So let's give it another crack. Mmm, let's do another one. Mmm, oh, that top, mmm. Mm. Mm. Round two, guys. This time I'm adding some seasonings. I'm going to be adding tomato paste and some herbs. I'm going to kind of ro rolling it out, I guess. I'm going to add it on top and then I'm going to roll her up and create a bit of a scroll. One spoon, please, sir. It's cute. I'm excited. <laughs> Probably should have made it a little bit bigger. Looks delicious. So it's the size of the palm of my hand at the moment, so we can see how much it grows. And it's the length of my pinky. In the truth. Mm. It's done. Cooked. I think so, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> first things first, let's see how much it's grown. A lot, a little bit tall. Oh, oh, that's hot. I would probably say, you take it off me. Oh, oh, probably say, what do you reckon, guys? You reckon it's grown at least a third in diameter and maybe a quarter in its height? Gives us a bit of a guide so that we know when we're massively. creating a ball how much bigger mm. it's actually going to get. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Looks well cooked. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Mm. 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 The herbs just make it. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. I got one more recipe that I want to experiment with. Mm. This is great. Mm. This is delicious. Mm. Really easy. So easy. Mm. All right, guys, this is my third recipe. I want some guesses down in the comments. What do you think I've put inside this scroll? Let's did you guess and work out what it is? What's this feeling, guys? Leave us a note in the comments. Lucky last one. I'm wondering if this one is going to be our favorite. <laughs> Good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mhm. Mm oh yeah. Mm. That's delicious. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Have I timed my sweet potato right? Oh, that's looking promising. But is it soft enough? Oh, almost nailed it. 
A bit longer? Uh, yeah. Man. Mm, those damp puts them. It's delicious. Just a little bit in the center is still just slightly under. Oh, man. Oh well, we'll do the same as last night. Start with the meat and the veg, and then we'll start, and then we'll enjoy the sweet potato in probably five more minutes. Check out this fire I've got cranking now. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweet potato moment of truth. Mmm. It's hot. Delicious. How's the flavour? Mm. The sweetness of it. Really sweet. Really mm. sweet. Like almost caramelised slightly. Yeah. All right, guys, that's us for tonight. Early morning tomorrow, we're doing sunrise in the Kennedy Ranges National Park. We'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Good morning, all. We've made it to Kennedy Range National Park. <laughs> we were aiming to get to Sunrise View for sunrise. That didn't happen. Nope. We slept in this morning, but let's go check it out now. Coconut yogurt, pear, and granola. That's Brecky this morning. All right, guys, we've just left Temple Gorge Campground. We're heading on the escarpment trail, which should take us, well, they say between one to three hours. So it's very, very broad, and it's about, oh, I don't remember what the length of it is. 3.4 k's. It's about 3.4 k's return. So uh, hopefully, there should be some good views from the top. We made it guys, we're up on top. You can see the trail down the bottom where we walked up. It's along the side and runs up in between that little valley, that bit of a gorge. We're just about to do Draper Gorge. It's two k's return. They say to allow 40 minutes to two hours We got that on camera. Oh. You okay? Just a bit of skin. Oh, that hurt my butt. Well, I have to say, it's a small, compact, quiet national park. It's nice. It's not extraordinary. Very minimal facilities here too. Would I return visit? No. <laughs> but nice to come and say that you have been. Definitely. Tick it off the list of national parks to visit. That's it. <laughs> my oh, oh, oh geez. How's geez. your bum bum? Yeah, it's my ankle that's the sorest. Oh, actually, that is a nice graze on your hand. Mm. Oh, a yeah. bit of flesh removed. Yeah. Pour some apple cider vinegar on that, sterilise it when we get back to the car. Apple cider vinegar, that's going to hurt like hell. Well, that's the only thing we've got for sterilisation. You've got some antiseptic swabs? Yeah. Oh, we'll use an antiseptic swab. Put a band-aid on it. I've got one in my bag. You can do it Antiseptic right swab and a band-aid? I've got a whole first aid kit. Oh, why don't you deal with it? I never go walking without one. Well, there you go. Plus our PLB is also packed. We never go walking without it now. <laughs> Safety first. All right, guys, we're back at our free camp on the Lions River. Which we have absolutely loved to date. This is our favourite free camp. 
We're just going to have a quick bite to eat here and then head off to our next destination. We'll see you next week as we continue with our free camping challenge and explore Karajini. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and drop us a comment. We'll see you next week. See you guys. Bye. Oh. Mm. 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 The herbs just make it. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Mm-hmm.